action. Well, this evening we plan to have an outside barbecue, um, but it's been raining and quite chilly, so we're going to have an indoor one. Uh, the first sort of burger I'm going to demonstrate is um, a vegetarian burger using halloumi. Okay, so this is halloumi, also known in my life as squeaky cheese, because when you eat it, it makes a squeaky noise sometimes. So what I've got going here is I've got some onions that have been softening and browning slightly. Just turn the heat up a little bit on that. And to that, I'm going to add a chopped up, some chopped up pieces of uh, tomato um, pepper, the, these peppers that are actually in jars. So you chop up, you need about the equivalent of like one pepper or so, maybe a little bit more, and chop this up and that's going to go into our onions along with a little bit of sugar, some brown sugar. So there's our chopped up peppers, they can go in, bring the pan a little closer. So this is a kind of like a, a nice relish that actually goes onto the uh, halloumi. Fingers off. That goes, oops, that goes in. Uh, with that, we need to add a teaspoon of sugar, preferably a brown sugar of some sort. So I'm just going to add a spoonful of this sugar I've got here. Okay. There we go. A spoonful. And then we also need a teaspoon of harissa sauce, so a harissa paste. This is used a lot in uh, Moroccan and Middle Eastern foods. Um, it's got chili, peppers, and rose petals inside. Mm, it smells quite tomato with a little hint of chili. And then you mix this all up, so you've got the onions, which have slightly caramelized, the pepper, the harissa, and the sugar. And that's going to sit and kind of turn into a nice relish that's going to go on top. This could go on, I'm going to put maybe some on the ordinary beef burgers as well in a minute. Anyway, we'll leave that there to cook. Meanwhile, because we can't use the outside uh, barbecue, I've got some slices of aubergine, which I've actually been cooking here. Um, and also now I'm going to put the uh, slice down the halloumi. Oops, actually it's going to break there. There we go. And then I'm going to use some of the oil here from the tomato, from the peppers. Just give them a little coating of oil. You can get halloumi flavoured with various different things. But you just need a little bit of oil to stop it sticking. And also a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, I'm just going to put pepper because the halloumi is quite salty anyway. And then place that onto our hot, this would normally be obviously our barbecue. Place it on the top there, close it down. All right, let me just check our nice relish. That's looking good. So the pepper and the onion. Now I've just got to get a cloth of saffron, wipe off the board, and we're going to prepare the burger bun and the filling. All right, let's just pop that there. So I'm going to have a slice of tomato, quite a big tomato in there, a couple of slices of that. Then we've got the cheese, should be right. And I've got a nice, you can have a, a nice ciabatta roll or any kind of sack, any roll you want really. Slice that, about a slice of my fingers. I'm also going to put this into the, onto the grill just to warm it a little bit. I've got some salad, and, and I've also got some of our flavoured butters, so I might put some This is looking fabulous, just get the little, uh, I'm going to take out, so it's nicely browning, I'm going to take out the aubergine, place it on here for a second, so that's nicely cooked through, love aubergine. That little bit can stay in for a little maybe. Right. And now, uh, probably going to just put the bread roll in there just to toast that and warm it up. And then we'll, we'll start to place, get everything put together. Nice relish, that's ready to go. Perfect. Right, so hopefully, this is a brilliant grill for using indoors. Nice and warmed up. That's nicely warming and starting to melt, so we'll be able to put things together in just a sec. What a mess I've made here. So, 
We're going to have our aubergine, halloumi, a little bit of tomato. You can always warm the tomato up as well on the, on the uh, grill. So, there's our roll. Let's just put those back in. Those are nice and warm anyway, but I don't know. Let's put them on there. So we've got our roll. We could put a little bit of uh, chili oil or something. <laughs> on top of the uh, alumi. You can use whatever flavours you want. Um, right, so then, let's take a little bit of aubergine. Maybe two slices of aubergine. That. And then, let's close it up for a second. And then I'm going to use a little bit of the relish on the top of the aubergine, just a little bit. Put some more on the top of the actual. Being creative today. In a minute, after we've done this one, I'm going to do the, the, the other burgers as well. Okay, so we take this piece. Uh, put a halloumi on the top. Then we can. Ah, oh, forgot the lettuce. Okay, put a piece of tomato, some lettuce which I've just got out of the garden, I've washed it so there's nothing, this is 100% vegetarian, small, small bugs have been removed, okay, and then, oh, let's put a bit of relish on top, got the relish, go back, I've also remembered something else I've forgotten as well, but I'll get that in there. Bit of relish. Switch that off. A little bit of, uh, maybe I'll leave the lettuce on the side, I think. Along with a bit of basil. It's going to be a bit tricky to put it all together. That goes on the top. And then. Them while tidying the cupboard during lockdown. And just secure, there we go. So that's our little halloumi burger, which um, should be quite delicious to have for our supper this evening with a bit of mixed salads and coleslaw. And I've got a few um, potato wedges to put with it as well. Perfect.